One of Brawl most powerful features is that it allows the user to do many tasks using only the computer keyboard. Using shortcuts speeds up the workflow and lets your muscle memory take care of many other functions so you can concentrate on the creative parts. In this example, I'll chop up a loop and split the drum hits on separate channels so they could be processed individually. There are other ways of doing this also, but this way we can demonstrate the basics of keyboard audio editing. Locate these keys on the keyboard. They will allow you to move the cursor up, down, and left and right. The index finger goes on the L. Before we begin, make sure that the keyboard command focus is enabled. To be able to navigate effectively, we're going to use the tab to transient functionality. This allows you to move the cursor and Pro Tools will automatically detect the peaks in the waveform like this. However, in this case, we will not use the tab key, but instead L and apostrophe. By using these keys, I can now move left and right between the transients of the loop. P and semicolon lets me move the cursor up and down. Now's a great time for you to pause the video and try yourself. Welcome back. The next step is to edit the audio and cut out the sample. To do this, I'm going to use the keys to move to a transient and I'm going to hold down the shift key and press the apostrophe key again to select the sample. Now that the sample is selected, I can use the letter B to cut it out. However, in this case, I'm going to undo this by pressing the Z key. Instead, I'm going to cut out the sample and place it on the track below like this. Let's do that again. P to move the selection up and then apostrophe to move it towards the next transient and then hold down the shift key to select this sample, press X to cut, and then use semicolon to move down, and then V to paste. Once you've chopped up the loop, you can navigate using the clips rather than the transients. To do so, hold down the command and the control key at the same time, like this. If you want to select two clips, add the shift key to the combo. This is the basic workflow when editing using a keyboard. There are also lots of additional functionality like changing the lengths of the clips and selections. However, that is for another video. Thank you. <laughs>